I think that the two stories were diametrically opposed. So the Association for Research and Enlightenment carried on, of course, and they are, uh, Edgar Casey talked about Atlantis. Now, in the research that I've done, I've tried to stay away from what I've called the A word, the alien Atlantis and angels, but it seems like the um, imperative to tell the story without those words is breaking down tonight. <laughs> so I have not been on the air and ever um, spoken like this. So Atlantis. Again, I have past life memories from there, and we knew that the crystal was going to break apart and that the energetics were becoming um, off, that uh, there was evil forces going on, and we needed to evacuate somehow. And some went off planet, and some went and built pyramids all over the world. So I'm not saying that you know, disembodied Atlanteans necessarily built the pyramids. I don't know that we need it to have been them, but it could be that they made a contribution to everywhere that there are pyramids on the planet. Okay, great. couple more uh, minutes to go, a couple more callers as well. First-time caller in Portland, Elisa. Hi, Elisa. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. I have um, two quick questions. Um, regarding the vessels, um, which um, the gods um, used to transport from in and out of well, one dimension to another, do um, you think that that would have anything to do with um, what we refer to as mythology? And also um, regarding um, the giants, would that maybe be referred to as the giants? And I want to know if what you have as far as I'm evidence of Lemuria, because I have the past life memories of me and Lemuria, and we self-destructed before Atlantis sank. Okay, Alicia, thank you. Well, I think mythology is a very good word because... It, the concept is archetypal, that it, 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 it exists in a frame of reference whether we know it's real or not. So Isis and Osiris are depicted as real people, but yet they could have been representing planetary systems. At Abydos, you see Isis is yellow-skinned and Osiris is blue-skinned, and then the populace who's on Earth is red-skinned. Um, so do we know... If they're real or not, well, on an archetypal level, does it matter if they're real or not? And so, um, so the the it, it could very well be that the story's being told, but it's being misinterpreted. Um, and so, there's never going to be an answer. Mythology is almost like a dream, like which part's real, which part isn't, and what's actually going on. So, it's a very rich concept. Uh, in terms of Lemuria, as I understand it, both Lemuria and Atlantis existed at the same time. Though Lemuria started early and then Atlantis continued beyond. And there was a similar thing, but I don't think it was as violent in the end. But it, what, And it was a much more feminine culture. And it may have had something to do with the Atlanteans imposing some of their energy systems that then destroyed the land, and I, as I understand it, some of the Lemurians went and lived in Atlantis after, um, and I have past life memories about that as well. So um, it definitely existed, and it was also known as Mu, and that has it's very, very ancient. Carmen, I want to thank you for uh, being on the program. Would you please give out your website? It's pyramidcode.com. And may I also say that the Pyramid Code is going to be on TV on Documentary Channel, starting on April 2nd, which is Good Friday for five Fridays. Super. Yeah, it's going to be 30 million, 30 million viewers. You got Well, it. potentially. <laughs> potentially. Well, we, you'll get them. You'll get them. You do good, good work, Carmen. Thank you so much. Thanks, George. That's Carmen Bolter. She's been to Egypt 20-plus times. And each time she goes, she comes back with more incredible information. For Dan Galanti, Tom Danheiser... Lisa Lyon, Lex Lonehood, Sean LaDesur, Ross Mitchell, George Knapp, Ian Punnett, and Art Bell. I'm George Norrie, somewhere out there on Coast to Coast AM. We'll see you on our next edition. Until then, be safe.